I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, it was it was amazing, you know. It was um, everything that that I didn't expect. Um, no fans, so I mean, no no is on. But you know, we have to learn to play in these types of environments, and I, I loved every part of it. And I can't wait for the next games to come up. I mean, a player like me, though, I mean, I played in, played in empty gyms before where not a lot of people were there other than my dad or my mom, if that. Um, but, you know, I mean, just it may be different for other people and the backgrounds that they come from, but we still have to play basketball with the conditions that we're in. You know, still have to wear our masks, still have to, you know, space out as much as we can and, and, and follow protocol. But, you know, as far as leading goes, you still have to do what you have to do. You can't make an excuse and, and come unprepared. That's, that's unexcusable. Yes, sir. Next question, we go to Chris Solari. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy Aaron. Uh, I, I guess looking at what you guys did tonight, I think it was 27 assists on 30 baskets. First of all, how tough was it to do that against that kind of solid? And secondly, was this one of those games where you just kind of had to play a role? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, to, to be able to create and distribute versus own like that, I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do. You know, I tried to get, get guys good shots and get them open and get them going. Being a leader on the team, I feel like that's important for me to do. I feel like mine will come when I want it to come. And, and, and doing that, it'll just letting the game come to me and just going with the flow, not forcing anything. But against a zone like that where they're kind of packed in, trying to make interior passes and get out on the break and – they, I, they, I think they did a decent job of getting back. I mean, that's something that maybe we got to run harder and, and try to beat. But, you know, as far as that goes, it, was, it wasn't easy, you know. But, you know, some things may, look that, may have looked easy. But it was definitely a, an, a, an important thing for me to try to get guys open and available tonight. Yeah, played into it. I mean, played into some guy's strengths and whatnot. And a guy like Foster, like you give him any space, I mean, this that's going in. Like a lot of guys on our team aren't crashing the boards when he shoots. But um, other guys like um, Gabe too, Josh too, just being able to be knocked down shooters and just find their find their spots. And guys like the, the bigs, and just knowing when to seal and and just knowing the, the right times to do certain things is, you know, it it, it just played to to guys, you know. They're, they're playing styles a little bit, and some guys that didn't maybe play as well, you know, it, it kind of goes that way too. But I felt like everybody played their role tonight and did a good job. <clears throat> next question comes from Stephen Brooks. Hey, uh, I hope you're doing well, man. Um, considering, you know, the summer was, was sort of, part of summer was taken away, uh, the preseason wasn't as it usually is, you didn't have a scrimmage, you didn't have an exhibition game. Uh, how do you think tonight went in terms of, Um, it was everything I didn't expect. Like I said earlier, you know, it was it was a different environment for sure. But I felt like we handled it really maturely and really well. You know, we still have places to grow and things to get better at with a win like this and going into a game like Saturday is nothing shy of it. But you know. I felt like we handled it well, and I felt like we can get better with it too. We know what we didn't do on the bench. We know what we didn't do on the court. You know, in the locker room preparation-wise, things we want to do different from all areas. I think everybody did their job. They don't do what they were supposed to do. What about cohesiveness and just how fluid things were? You know, yeah. Man, we really shared the ball well. I feel like the ball was moving a whole bunch, you know. I mean, and and but I feel like um, uh, we passed up a couple shots, maybe including me. But I feel like the the goal of the team was to just get everybody involved and just get used to playing with each other, you know. Something that you can't simulate a game in practice because it's not the the actual thing. But I feel like as much time as we had in practice, the game is always a lot more different than that, you know, in terms of playing and pace and just filling out guys and. I feel like once we get those games under our belt and keep keep growing from that, 
It's only going to get better and better. Thank you. <clears throat> we'll go out to Chris Valari again. Obviously, you mentioned about being a leader and getting guys to uh, foster what's around well inside of them. But Josh in particular, you know, you've been there through all, all that you've gone through the past two years. Um, what was it like to finally see him one step on the court, two start hitting shots, and three start going to the basket like you did? Man, um. I was, I was just, that was the best part of the night, you know, just being able to, to start with him, you know, and after practice, we, we always ice bath and we're probably like the last two to leave and we always talk. And those type things were, were good to see, you know, it's a guy that has always been there for me since I was in high school on my official visit and I didn't know who he was to, to now playing with him and he's not, expect, he wasn't expected to be here at that time and now I'm sharing the court with him and with a guy like that, like, that's the best part. That's 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 somebody I want to ride with every time. All right, Aaron, that's all the questions we have for you. Appreciate your time and thank you. Thank you guys.